bullying. The Me Too movement against sexual harassment. Is this the best a man can get? Instead of excuses, boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. We need to make change. Come on. So you've probably seen the latest ad razor company Gillette put out. You know, the one that has a pretty awful like to dislike ratio on YouTube. Bullying, harassment, is this the best a man can get? It's only by challenging ourselves to do more that we can get closer to our best. Instead of excuses, we need to make a change. We've heard of race baiting, but that description is gender baiting if I've ever seen it. Men need to hold other men accountable. Yo, men. That's not how we treat each other, okay? Because the action we take today will be seen by the men of tomorrow. Okay, those last two kids looked like they were just roughhousing. I mean, you have to understand that when someone says they're against toxic masculinity, it means they're opposed to some of the fundamental traits that have made Western civilization what it is today. Aggression, ambition, competition, and it's not just philosophically unsound, but also financially moronic, as Villanova marketing professor Charles Taylor noted. Taylor said politically charged language should be avoided by advertisers. The use of the term toxic masculinity in the ad was a flat out mistake. While only mentioned quickly and briefly, the use of this term, which many men associate with a one-sided critique and stereotype of an entire gender. So that's not really a complete sentence, but this is a marketing professor, not an English guy, and I take the point. It is one-sided and it is a stereotype. Taylor continues, Regardless of how much some without marketing backgrounds would like to believe that companies taking political stances is okay, alienating a substantial proportion of the target audience is never a good thing. Another good argument. Not only will you polarize people who are otherwise interested in your product, but you'll also incentivize them to tell others who might have been interested and create a boycott. Although conservatives don't tend to do that a whole lot. Then again, they may get some new customers out of people who think the personal is political and use apps like this. Anyway, I can't tell you how reassuring it is to see a professor actually speak with some sense about this story. The social sciences and humanities are in trouble, but perhaps business is still based. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.